Hello, this is the Brassic Gamer. Um, and all my hardware stuff, which I usually do videos on, is in storage presently for various reasons. And so rather than do no videos, I thought I would do some actual gaming videos. And uh, the Brassic kind of angle on that is that this is the cheapest mobile game I've ever bought. It's like two quid or something um, from, uh, I think you can get on iPhone and Android. And uh, I read a review of it in Ars Technica a few years ago. And uh, this is Desert Golfing. And uh, I'm going to speak about this game a little bit more as we go along. Um, but I'm just going to start a video series where... Oh, well, that's a great start, isn't it? Actually, it's not keeping my score yet. It's the practice hole. Um, unlike any other golf game I've played, but I always come back to golf. I think the first golf game I played was Virtual Golf on the PC for DOS. And then I played Tiger Woods for a while on PC and on Xbox. And I don't know, it's just something about this game. I've, I've, you can't complete it as far as I know. I've done it so many times because you can't, because it doesn't synchronize your game data. Oh, you um, you can't change, you can't transfer between phones. So this is my new phone. Uh, it's a Huawei P30, I think, or Mate. I can't remember. It's the new one, the the pro one with the three camera lenses. But that's kind of irrelevant. You don't need. Oh, that was a miss shot. You have to be careful with this because this circle is a new feature um, and it stops you from, supposedly stops you from accidentally, it's been added in at some point, prevents you from accidentally making a shot and I'm sure it gets bigger as the game goes on. And I wanted to make a video series of the holes and I'll probably do them in 100 hole sections just because I've done this a few times I've actually got, believe it or not, quite good at it um, at first it's infuriating just like real golf and then after a little while, oh yeah I do play real golf as well by the way <laughs> oh. okay what I wanted to do there was bounce it off the floor here for it to then go over bounce and go in. Obviously I missed that point there. Each of the holes you should be able to do in one but some of them are impossible to do in one and you need two shots. Um, this one for example should be dead easy. Just chuck it over the top, bounce and then use the slope to get it into the hole. So this is three minutes in and I've done seven holes. That's great. The aim for me the competitiveness in this game is to try and keep my average below two shots so let's say I had uh, let's say I was in hole 100 I should have made I should have made less than 100 shots um, this hole's a little bit tricky because what I would normally do is I would send it over this way bounce here and then land it up here but this gap is too big to do with the bounce so actually what I could do is if I chuck it really hard I might be able to hit this slope head on and end up with it there let's have a go almost almost so you kind of have to get it as close to the hole as possible again just like real goal there we go oh bounce out that does happen and you've got it's not a flat bottom to the hole you've got this little angle um, actually let's have the sound effects there we go so uh, there is no par for each of the holes that was perfect see one shot straight in and also to make the video series maybe a little bit more interesting, I'm going to be making them in uh, public places. 
so I am uh, vulnerable to anything that's going on around me. People judging, insects, um, people talking. There we go. And while the surface, the surface takes some getting used to because it's sand, right? So it's a bit more sticky than normal, but it's still generally quite quick. This isn't going to go in, for example. I didn't give enough power on that shot, but it doesn't matter because I know I'll get it into. So as long as I can get it into, but mostly get it in one, that's how I keep the average. And occasionally, oh, I hit the wrong uh, angle there. Occasionally you can get it below two, and sometimes you'll get it over two, but hopefully because of the amount of uh, hole-in-ones you've got, it should even out to less than two on average. So the idea is that by having a series where I tackle each hole, because some of them are pretty straightforward, we've had no weird ones yet. Um, but if you are stuck on a particular level, and I know some other people have done this, but eh, I kind of want to do my spin on it. Um, and if you're stuck on a particular hole, then you can look at my video guide and it will give you some clues as to how to progress. See, that was perfect. And that's what it should be like most of the time, if not all of the time. This one, I'm going to bounce it off the back. And the sand does, there's a randomised factor where sometimes the sand will eat the ball, slow it down and mess up whatever plan you had to get the ball in. Didn't happen on that occasion. So we're up to hole 20. If I was getting an average of two, it should be around 40 shots. And as you can see from the top there, I'm on 34. I said I'm now on 35. So I didn't give that enough juice. What I should have been able to do is get it over the top and then the incline would do the rest. And what you will notice is that when you've got the hole particularly close to an incline like that, it will not go in the hole straight away. It will just bounce out, uh, roll over rather. So this one is bounce on the flat bit. Oh yeah. That should have bounced off here and gone in the hole, but I'm happy with that. And I'm not going to talk all the way through it because mostly this will be a reference for people. Um, but also I'm quite good at this, so occasionally I will do the most amazing, ridiculously good shot. Sometimes it's lucky, but most of the time it is from experience and practice and stuff like that. So this one's not going in. Not quite the right angle there. Yay. Um, and I don't know, it's a bit, oh, that was a missed shot. Tetris, I noticed something about Tetris. Is that not everyone plays Tetris the same way. You would think they do. I saw someone playing Tetris on the train once and I thought what are you doing you are doing it completely wrong you know there's a particular way of, of getting the bricks together it doesn't always mean it's possible but you know, logic people logic okay so this one I'm obviously the, the chances of me dropping the ball in there are quite slim sometimes it happens but what would probably happen is that I would overshoot and end up down here, which is fine because then you can just bring it up and over and get in there. But what I'm probably going to do instead is bring it down to the bottom of this slope and then try and get it in from here. Yeah. So aim for one, but at the same time, aim for two. It's a bit like playing pool and trying to cover a pocket you know on your next go that you're um, you're likely to get it in. Um, 
I suppose if you would use the golf analogy, then it's equivalent of getting the ball, let's say pitch and putt, three par, you want to get the ball with your first shot on the green, or at least very close to the green. Because ideally, with your second shot, you would get it in, which would be a birdie, another par. Um, and if you don't, then you've got two more goes to get it in for the par. That was rubbish. That should have bounced off here and just rolled down. And sometimes it does happen where you've got particular holes that will take forever. You'll be there doing like 10 different shots until you get it. Ah, oh, see, I missed the, I think it's still going to go in. I missed the incline there and it hit the flat instead. So it should have kicked back originally off here and in but sometimes you get a lot of it's also very rare that you will get the ball straight into the hole usually you'll want at least one bounce see that should have gone over there I'm a bit rusty and you can't transfer your data between games um, but you can restart so I'd already got to like hole 300 or something on this, but it wasn't a huge problem to clear the data from the game and start from scratch. I can't remember how far I've got. Oh, that was unlucky. I think I've got up to like 22,000 shots before, which is like 18,000 holes. I have not read on recently about the supposed end of this game but as I understand it there isn't one so 12 minutes in we're on hole 38 um, which means this video is probably going to be If I work it out, let's see, we're about two thirds of the way through. So, two thirds, 12 minutes, probably looking at about a 25 minute video. Alright, what am I going to do here? Um, I'm going to try and bounce it off there and get it in, I think. Should have enough power for that. A lot of the time, oh, no, angle was too great. A lot of the time I do use full power on the first shot. Oh, see, that was lucky. I thought that was going to overshoot. But... <laughs> hey, uh, this one. Oh. See, the whole, the, the circle to stop you from doing accidental shots is not big enough. So that was an accidental shot, but it's fine. It's only one. Here, I'm going to send the ball down here to then bounce a bit over the over the top. Now, see, I wanted to hit here. So it bounces off here, bounces off that hole, and then goes in. You can't even restart the hole. It's one thing you can't do in this game. You get mulligans and all sorts in other games. But uh, not so here. As long as it doesn't come down this ramp, then I'm okay. Mm -hmm. We will encounter the occasional crop, bit of scenery, maybe a cactus, maybe a water hazard, maybe a cloud. And also the colour palette changes just to keep things that little bit more interesting. What shall I do here? Um, send it off that incline. Up. Nope, not hard enough. Gauging the power is probably the hardest part of this. It reminds me a lot of, well, worms, for example. If you've played worms, then you'll be used to judging angles and distance and stuff. And if you're really old, like me, uh, you will also remember 
the Gorilla Dot Bass, which was a basic game that came with DOS 5, where you had two gorillas on a very basic background and they would chuck explosive bananas at each other. That was nice. Explosive bananas also bring a link to worms, interestingly. Worms again is a game that I've played time and time and time again. I've got a laptop, it's like a, what is it, a Pentium laptop, which I use exclusively for worms. And uh, it's just great turn taking multiplayer. Can I get this in? Nope. Some of the hardest um, holes to get in are where you've got one of these ramps. And what I'm going to do is just to reduce the number of strokes I'm going to take here. If you if you approach these ramps at a similar angle to the ramp itself, then there is sufficient friction for the ball to stick and stay on a slope. And amusingly, the ball will actually stick to a vertical slope, which is probably not particularly in keeping with genuine physics and on a whole the physics are very good in this game such that they are you know it's pretty simple but uh, you should not be able to stick a ball into sand on a vertical slope angular sand it's not really a thing is it right this one i'm going to chuck over the top bounce back ah oh, that angle was not enough to chuck it back towards the hole but I'm near enough. I probably looking at the proximity of the of the hole to this slope. I could have just sent it down. But never mind. This one should go straight in. No, too slow. Oh no, it's going to go. Just hole fifty-two. So we're halfway through. I might stop talking for a bit. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Try a different approach. Sometimes there is only one way to do a hole. But most of the time there's more than one way. Now yeah, this is this is an amusing hole because ooh, what do I do here? Um, I have to get it in the hole, but there's water in the hole. Does that mean it's a water hazard? Just to show, and they've made it easy as well. Ah, oh, that's not fair. Splash. <laughs> I'm sure that took longer than normal for the hole to come up. <laughs> that's the total psycho on part of the developer. He is. Given just enough time for the player to be in two minds about whether <laughs> the hole has been successful or not. What a joke. Right, this is an interesting one because if you can stop your ball, if you can get your ball rolling up a slope and it stops before the top of the slope, it will stay. If it reaches the angle at the top of the slope, or it's going too fast it will roll back down so it's learning little things like that which become part of the game in a way it's um, learning how to play this learning how to keep your shot um, tallied down is probably the biggest challenge of the game
it's knowing when to play a particular shot that is the key um, right, the, this might roll off but yeah bounced over but still I'm close enough to get two shots as you can see I'm on hole 63 and 112 so 126 would be two shots so I've got a below that's my wife texting me asking me to find some decaf tea bags because we've run out she has panic attacks if she drinks normal tea and this is part of the amusement of doing this kind of video on my phone I don't know actually if the screen I think it records everything the screen recording um, so let's hope nothing too embarrassing comes up really some friends that want to meet up. This is not really what I was expecting to be part of the video. I was expecting outside interference like in terms of sound or whatever. But not my own personal messages. I have to disable that feature when I'm recording. It's putting me off right off now. Hole 69. I'm surprised the developer didn't put a joke in here oh, okay this is a bastard now when you're flat up against one of these you have to make a shot to get away from the side but i'm just going to show you the physics that i was talking about with uh here we go so i've just wasted a shot showing you that but that's kind of amusing and it's kind of useless as well and actually i've wasted more than one shot because i'm gonna have to get it off here before i can shoot again <laughs> and it's going to roll back down against the side again so I'm going to have to do another shot sometimes it will bounce out enough there and stay on the slope that you can use it but not in this case hole 69 you're a joke I was aiming to do is bounce it off there and get it in that way, but hey, two shots, that's fine. I think when I've tried to do this before, I've... See, that's a perfect example of how the ball just should not stay there, really. This is going to be difficult to get in, actually. Um, I've managed to keep my shot tally down to less than two on average until about hole 1000 and then there's like one particular hole which just screws you over every time you may not do like 50 shots or something hopefully that won't happen this time around because i've had loads of practice so i know how to attack each hole oh that was nice there's a little okay this is another <laughs> integral part of the game Sometimes off screen, there will be a slope which you can use if you know it's there. And some holes that look impossible, they're not impossible because you just don't have the information. Um, what am I going to do here? Chuck it against that. No, not that. Oh. Right. Oh, that's not ideal. I'll try and hit that angle. No, it's 45 degrees, which means it's not going to go over. That's fine. Oh. 
Three quarters of the way there. Uh, 25 minutes, that means so, uh, looking about half an hour. You can lose hours on this game. It's a good one for playing on the toilet. Um, obviously it works offline, there are no scoreboards or anything like that. No servers to sync with, so it doesn't use any data. So it's good for situations where you've got no signal. Or where you run out of lives on Candy Crush, or whatever, and there's no pokey stops anywhere. Right, no, that's not really what I wanted to do, but fine. Let's bounce it straight off there and go in, really. No particular challenges yet. I think nearly every single hole has been literally one par, or par one, however you want to say it. It's interesting the word par because I had to look it up actually just to find out why it confused me because um, if you say let's say a hole is three par and you finish it in two you got less than par which is good but then if someone's not feeling themselves or you know they're a bit unwell or something they could be described as below par now most of the context i'm aware of being below par is good so um what i worked out is that par actually means what's expected so that's entirely subjective if you expect someone to get three shots and they get two then that's good if you expect someone to be well, but they're not well, then that's bad. So par is subjective. Damn it. No. So at least I didn't end up down there. I wanted to bounce it off here actually, but let's try that again. Uh oh, that's annoying. So obviously in this situation, I'm gonna have to rest it up there and then chuck it over the top. That could have been much worse. And it's holes like that or situations like that that can be really frustrating about this game. Right, okay, let me see if I can get this one right. I want to hit it. I want it to land here at full speed so that it slows down up this slope and goes in. Because if I send it up high and bounce it off here, it's probably going to go down here. So let's see if this works. Nope landed too far forwards but that's fine because in this position I can almost definitely get it in yeah there we go so that had enough momentum there that it carried on back down um, some holes you just can't miss like that one no matter where you put it, it's going to you know, be close or go in. I should have got that in one shot already. That was pathetic. Too much. Oh, lucky. Okay. 
So you can't play another shot until the shot you're playing is finished, but you can certainly uh, get ready for the next one, like this. And then just let go. Ah, uh, that's not going to have enough momentum to go in. Three shots on that hole. Disappointing. Which means I'm barely shy of the two shot average. Six more holes. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. So that was a perfect example of how you hit the bottom of the slope and then it carries itself up with the momentum. Bang, bounce, bounce, in. That's exactly what should be happening. This one's quite straightforward. Seven. Ooh, let's see if I can get it off that flat bit there. Yeah, is that going to go in? Ooh, no, not quite. Part of the other reason I wanted to record this is because I do sometimes pull off the most amazing shots and no one's here to see them. So uh, this way, by doing every hole I'll be able to do a guide for each hole but also I'll be able to do a highlights video of my best shots. And here we are, hole 100. Um, there is no hole zero. Well, there is hole zero. Actually, I've already played hole zero. So if we say that this was video from zero to 100, sorry, zero to 99, and then the next video will be 100 onwards, uh, because that's how I like to do things number-wise. It's because I'm a programmer. So, you know, zero is the beginning of the list. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, this is still a bit of an experiment. I not, might not keep this up, but um, if you do want to see more of this, feel free to leave um, something in the comments. Maybe there's a particular location you would like me to, to record the next video in, like a swimming pool or I don't know, uh, not actually in the swimming pool, you know, like the auditorium area where you can, never mind, um, you know what I mean. See you in the next one.